In NFL news, uh, Kareem Hunt, the Cleveland Browns running back, has been suspended eight games by the NFL. And this is to do with two incidents that took place last year when he was a Kansas City Chiefs player. Uh, one incident took place in February where there's footage of him on, on video shoving a woman. Uh, and there's also another incident in the June of which uh, was also in breach uh, of the NFL's code of conduct at an Ohio hotel resort complex. Uh, so that's two incidents in the space of six months. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs, as, as part of the ongoing investigations, the Kansas City Chiefs felt that they had to terminate his contract and he was he was sacked by the Kansas City Chiefs towards the end of December, uh, just before the playoffs started. Uh, Cleveland picked him up. Uh, knowing that there was an investigation against him and, and knowing quite likely that there would be a suspension, which he has now received, neither the Cleveland Browns nor Kareem Hunt are contesting the suspension. Kareem Hunt has come out and has very publicly apologised. He's given statements saying you know, how sorry he is. But it does raise several questions about the NFL. Several questions. One, what is the code of conduct um, respected by players and the culture within the NFL? Because Kareem Hunt is not the first and he will not be the last player to... Um, be accused of domestic violence or, or breach the code of conduct when it comes to um, violence against women. He will not. He's not the last. He will not be the last. There will be more. There's been a whole host before him, and it's not just violence against women. It's it's criminality. There's a lot of players who've had firearms offences, drugs offences, drink driving offences, assault assault charges. The NFL seems to have an issue with the culture within those dressing rooms of players exhibiting really bad behaviours. Um, and that while not all the players are household names, Ben Roethlisberger keeps coming up with the allegations levelled against him over his career uh, towards women um, and his conduct. So Roger Goodell has, has taken this hard stance. Is eight games a sufficient punishment, considering that the player has admitted guilt and has held his hand up and is going through the process of, of cooperating with the NFL on, on treatment programmes, all this, you know, the things put in place? Is it too lenient? Is it too harsh? I'm going to use another professional sports league as an example. Uh, the NRL. I've done several. I've done many videos on the National Rugby League of Australia. Uh, ben Barber, superstar player, banned for life for a similar incident that what uh, Kareem Hunt did in February last year, shoving, uh, having an altercation with his, his partner outside of Townsville Casino um, that led to his automatic termination of contract by the North Queensland Cowboys. There are a whole host of other players that are facing various charges in breach of the Code of Conduct uh, and, and court charges, legal charges. I've done several videos on what's happening in the NRL off-season. Obviously, the NRL has now started, but this off-season has been very troubling for the NRL. They have come out with a stronger Code of Conduct and a zero-tolerance policy on player misbehaviours, especially uh, domestic violence allegations, of which many players in the NRL have also had against them. And I'm comparing it. So the NRL is taking a much tougher line when it comes to player misbehaviour. The NFL has had a code of conduct in place since Roger Goodell took over, so for over a decade, and yet these incidents keep happening. So it's a debating point. Um, it, it's going to be a, a debating point for NFL fans and sports fans in general. And... Uh, He's going to miss at least half the season. Now, Cleveland are fully aware of that. They're going to have to obviously get a replacement for him in that time. Um, but <clears throat> it does raise the question of the severity of punishment. Is it sufficient? Is it too lenient? Is it too harsh? And that's going to rumble on until the next incident with the next player. And there have been many. This is actually making news over here in the UK. So the NFL has a bigger following in the UK now than it did before the London series ever took place. The NFL fan base here in the UK is growing year on year. And again, um, this has created great interest over this side of the Atlantic. I'm assuming in the US it's, it's big news as well. And um, what are your thoughts on it? So place your thoughts below on, 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 the, on the suspension. Is it justified? Is it too harsh, too lenient? And on the, on the culture within the NFL, you know, there needs to be a culture change. Has, there has to be. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, place your comments below and I will have some more videos for you soon.